Final 5 game from the Terra Final. I was playing at Jean-Luc Weller. Um, and this is where it starts getting tense because we're both on 4, four out of 4. And we're playing to win £2,000 for those of you that didn't know. And Jean-Luc is either a very strong player and one of his very strong players in the tournament's grades 210. Uh, so he's at w one point higher than mine. So, yeah, basically whoever wins this game is going to go win go on to win the tournament. So, so d4, e6, um, and now e4. So we're going to transpose back into the French. Knight d2, which is Tarash. Knight f6, e5, knight d7, c3, c5, f4, knight c6, knight df 3 Well, normally... When I played against Jean Luc, he plays the bishop d3 variation. Knight c6, knight e2, take, take, and then f6. Um, and then he, he takes here, knight takes, and knight f3. But, yeah, he's surprised when he played f4, which is annoying he played this line. Because I'm not so good, I wasn't so good against it. I didn't really know what I was doing. I saw this line, but I haven't actually played this before. I'd seen it. So I thought I'd give it a try. The idea is just go rook b8 and you go b5 and b4. So bishop d3, b5, knight e2, queen b6, bishop e3, g6. So that's the stop in playing f5. He castled and now b4. Now he plays g4, which is uh, pretty scary. Now you're, you know he's ready to go f5. So I played bishop to e7, bishop f2. Bishop to a6. So I'm trying to swap off my bad bishop for his good bishop, and that should help him or help stop playing him playing f5. Uh, he plays f5 anyway, which takes d3, queen takes d3, and c4. Um, so I was sort of going to hide my king over here on c7. So I was going to block up the c file, take on um, c3 later on, and bring my queen in around the back. He plays queen e3. And now I play knight f8, which wasn't the greatest. The idea of playing this is now if he takes on e6, I'll capture my knight. Um, so now he plays knight f4. Knight f4 is a blood, uh, he didn't take advantage. He should have played f6. And now to bishop d8, queen h6. I am in big trouble. Queen um, g7, which has been threatened, so I have to go rook g8. And now you can start bringing this knight in. Um, yeah, I'm a big mess. Look, you didn't see this, he went knight f4. So I took on c3, takes, takes on g5, on f5. Now queen b2, I'm trying to come around the back. I was, like, I was thinking of playing uh, queen c2 and helping my king this way. King h1, queen c2, takes, f takes, and now knight h5. Uh, so now he's going to come into g7 or f6, so king d7. So I'm just trying to run my king away. Uh, so I was, I was aiming to go this way, right into court. King to c7, and now bishop to g3. So now I take on f6, you can take, and you've got this good attack on my king. So already this game wasn't going very well, especially when it's a very important game. I messed up the opening. Um, so yeah, I'll now rook b5, knight g5, and I'm in a real mess again. Now knight f7 is a big threat. So I play queen g6, the queen comes to the rescue. Almost. Knight e for his knight f7 anyway, and it's a good little uh, tactic, because now if, if queen takes f7, oops, if uh, queen takes f7, then knight takes d5, and he wins my queen. So instead I played rook g8, just gave up the exchange, knight d6, another good move, rook b8, rook a b1, knight d7, so I'm hoping to block up b file to uh, protect my king, queen f3, so now he wants to play queen to uh, f f7, so now knight d8, stopping him doing that, 
Rook takes b8, king takes b8, rook b1 check, knight b6, now a4. Uh, this is threatening to play um, a5, queen g6, attacking the rook, rook b2, knight to c6. So now stops him playing a5. And now he takes on c4, which is a good move. So now I take, he's got queen takes c6. So I, do I took anyway. He takes on c6, my king's sort of holding on. Um, and now bishop a3. And I like this move because now the rook hasn't got anywhere to go, can't stand this file. And you know, especially my queen can come in around the back. So now he plays the rook to f2. And um, this looks pretty scary as well. This rook has a lot of space to come down here. Luckily, my bishop's defending this square. I wasn't going to get checkmated. Now, knight d5. And somehow, my king looks very weak, but all the squares around my king are all covered. You know, now knight d5, I'm threatening to play queen into e4 check, trying to go for perpetual. So, you guys, queen b5 check, king e8. And all the squares still code, the bishop still protects this square. Uh, queen c6 check, king b8, queen 5 check, king e8. So I was happy with the draw. Now he plays king g2, h5, so I'm afraid to play h4. h4, and now, this is a mistake for him. Now I can play knight e3 check. And he's got you know, some problems now. Um, he's got to defend the bishop, and if he plays king h2, I can play knight to g4 check. And as you, you went king f3, I can play queen g4 check, takes, and now bishop c1 check. Um, so now rook d2 is forced, king take, queen takes g3, king e4. And already I am um, actually, or well, at least level, because white, if I, if I take this rook on d2 without a check, then white just gets a perpetual. Um, so. I actually missed a win here. I took on h4 check, which doesn't. Well, I don't know. It seems logical taking a pawn of check, but I should have played queen g6 check. Now, this forces the win. King f3, and then bishop takes d2. Queen protects the e8 square. Queen 6 check, king b8, queen b5 check, king c7. Takes on c4 check, king d8. Eventually, the queen's run out of checks, and now. I'm um, just a bishop up. So I missed that. I play queen takes h4 check. King f3. Queen g4 check. King f2. Queen f4 check. So what I'm trying to do is get the king onto a square, a dark square, where I can take the bit the rook with check. Um, king g1. Queen g3 check. And to draw, he has to play king f1. Um, this keeps the draw, but he actually played king h1 here, and once again I missed a win. I played queen f1 check, but I missed a fairly obvious win here, and it's queen e1 check. Now it's king g2, queen takes d2 with check, and now I'm just the, bishop, the whole bishop up, I have time to eventually protect these light squares around my king. And the final position is variation, ends up like that. But anyway, I play queen f3 check, and then after king g1, which it takes d2, this is now just completely equal, and he just gets perpetual. I mean, I guess I missed this because I was low on time. Both of us are getting quite low on time now, um, you know, about two minutes left. But even still, two minutes left, I should have been able to see. Is queen to uh, e1 check, but you know. Then again, you know, I was happy with a draw. I, was, I should have lost the game.